and my, someone told my mother that your uh, son, I saw him with the sarus. Then mother got worried, she started sending me telegrams and all, but I didn't go. On the 27th of May, when I, uh, when Maharaji left for this thing, and I, 27th of June, when Maharaji left, I said, when do I see you? He said, meet me in Church Lane, Dada Muk uh, Sudhir Mukherjee's house. Someday your whole family will come to me. That is what he said, and well, I just came to back to uh, you know, Allahabad and started talking about uh, Maharajji to my family. And I tell, this is what he did. I had seen three, four uh, pirates, I mean, you know, uh, things that could not be explained by logic. So they thought that I had gone bonkers. <laughs> I had no real, you know, substance, and they were also worried that this. And uh, incidentally, I had also failed that year. <laughs> in my first year graduation, I failed. So I was not a very welcome sight. My father growled at me, don't go after the sadhu so much. My uncle said it could be pure mesmerism. And my mother, you know, she was a very pious religious lady. She kept quiet, but it kept her reserved. And the third or the fourth day, I found out Dada Mukherjee's house. And I started pestering him. When is Maharaj coming? When is Maharaj coming? He was patient for two, three times. The fourth day, he growled that. Why are you coming every day? When he comes, he'll come to know it. That was the first thing I felt crestfallen, you know, that as if I, I just got down to the... And on, I still remember the date, it was 27th or 28th of July of the same year. I saw, my till then my entry was only to the gate. Knock at the gate and find out and get kicked out. So I went and kept my bike. So I saw a dream that I am going to, the, to Dada's house. I parked my bike and I entered. The door was open, I kept in, I saw a veranda, I saw Maharaji coming down, at the flight of the stair which met the floor, I put my head at his feet and wept. And I suddenly got up and I started bathing. Can you imagine a young child bathing at 5.30 in the morning? But then I had my bath and dried myself and walked out. My mother said, where are you going? I said, Maharaj has come. So how do you know? I said, no, he has come. So when I went there, I parked my cycle there. And the moment I came in, uh, so looked at the, you know, opened the door, the door was open, I saw him coming down and bang at the staircase, I knelt my, at his feet and wept. And that started my stream of, you know, uh, association with him. Dada, I became a foster son to him, he would use me as a major, you know, major domo, I would bring jalebis, I would see the baby, I would bring dahi, your curd and give it to this thing and then I started calling people, I started peddling cycle and he, he had commissioned my name as Hanuman those days. So everyone would call me Hanuman. You know, life continued for two years, three years, four years, I failed once more again. <laughs> but then, you know, I was just totally devoted to him and he would come, I would sleep in the gallery that Dada had, anyone who has gone to Dada's house, he would know. And the moment 4 o'clock Maharaj got, he would get up at 4 in the morning. The moment he would get up, I would sit down. Then if people would come and you know, during the winter people would come, Kishan Tiwari, many many people. They would sit down in, 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 in a uh, lotus position and go to you know, their concentration, Samadhi. Three, four, five people at a time and you would say, they are all dead, burn them, they are dead, they are no good. <laughs> Then we would draw them out and put them in the room. There were five bodies lying there. And then Dada got worried, Mukherjee Dada. He said, Baba, they have not eaten for a long time. Please wake them up. Let them die. <laughs> then, you know, one day I saw from the, you know, chair, you know, the window, I peeped in. And then I saw that he would put his fingers in, draw it and break the breath. They call it Kheshri Mudra. And they would break it and they would call, come out groggily. I thought this is, and then they would be very honored by all the people around. I said, this is the fastest way to fame. So I started practicing my, you know, <laughs> mudra. And every morning at four o'clock when uh, me and him and Dada and his mothers would be alone, I would do my dhyan and try to go, come on Samadhi, come on Samadhi, let me listen Samadhi. <laughs> <laughs> and I would wake up, open my eyes and find that nothing has happened to me. So after maybe two, three days, you know, I tried Samadhi and then he looked at me and just sits like this. It's just like this. And I lost my consciousness, Ooh, had a big flight and got down with a bump, you know, thump and just, I, you know, I got, I was totally shaken up and I fought my, I had a real fall. 
It's all imagination. But I had that flight and I fell down. Then Baba looked at me. It's not easy, son. Just like that. And believe me, <laughs> till now, I have not ever tried this. Whatever, I have not tried this.